Hi, I just want to say that um, I'm terribly sorry to everyone if um, I've done something wrong. I, I wasn't aware of everything that happened with um chance i'm not i'm not part of the cyrax universe um please don't dox me um i have children and um foster children and things like that um i just um I, I, well at first i thought i was helping people and then once i found out exactly what was happening and everything i handed everything over to steve who by the way is a lovely lovely person and i would never want anything like anything bad to happen to anyone like that i can just yeah so i'm so sorry to everybody um now I, i'm aware um like i say i handed everything over to steve i didn't mean to insult anybody if i did i do apologize terribly and I'm so sorry to everyone. Um, I haven't spoken to Jan since our first um sort of meeting. Um, so yes, yeah, sorry again, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Hey, what's up? Hi. Are you okay? Oh, I'm doing good. Wait, was that you in my chat earlier on kick? Was that it you? It was because I couldn't find oh, you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that was you. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. thank God. Good. Oh, All right, I didn't know if that was you or not. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I was doing the stream and then I got done. And then all of a sudden I came over here and find that the account that you had me on ended up getting suspended for the like how long. I was like, great. <laughs> that's so unlucky like honestly like i was really worried i thought like something had happened and i was like i've oh, no, 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 no. sent requests i've sent messages i was asking yeah, it was the the trolls. Messages. <laughs> yeah it was literally the trolls they ended up getting uh my account suspended because i think because i'm more of like the ballet style to it and that's she kind of like really taught me that balance and stuff and like how that does help and it surprisingly does in more ways than one mm -hmm. but you know throughout all my high school career we were dance partners throughout our entire high school career and i guess uh cdg caught one of the videos of me dancing like a couple months prior and ever since he's just been like oh if you don't dance I'm gonna do this to your family. It's gonna happen. Sorry, ignore, ignore that. I'm, I'm on my partner's computer because I'm at home and I'm not too sure how to work it. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. Sorry, apologies. Carry on. Oh, it's all good. But like, and that's the whole reason why this dude is doing this because he literally wants me to get up on panel and dance for him. And it's like, dude, I'm 33 years old, man. I don't have the legs for that shit no more. Yeah. I, I have well, problems. I know what it's like. I, I'm the, I'm nearly the same age as you, so I, I know the pain. I know right, the pain. Like, and don't get me wrong. I do enjoy dance. I really do. And believe it or not, like doing dance and learning ballet kind of is what sparked me into um, getting into doing stuff like free running. Because a lot of my friends in high school did a lot of parkour and a lot of free running, and they kind of taught me how to do that. But what really messed my legs up to where I wasn't able to do dance as much is we were filming inside of our school the one day because it was free time and the principal didn't give a shit what we did. Like he really did not give a shit as long as we weren't as long as we weren't bringing guns or knives or setting the school on fire or doing anything illegal, we were good. So my friend freaking grabbed out his camera and there was like a set of stairs when you walk in the building. It's like it's like a set of like four stairs with a railing attached to the wall. And I had fucking done wall runs on that wall like <laughs> 50 million times. And he was like, yo, like, let's, you know, film this. Because we did have a couple people that were, that actually run a few major uh, parkour companies and stuff like that. And they were looking at us like they were interested. So we we're like, yo, let's film some shit. Let's send it in, see what they think. And I was like, yo, 
bet. Like I'm in. Let's do it. And I had ran, I had done that that stair set. Like I said, a million times before. So I knew it like the back of my hand. Well, I went to do the wall run because the way the wall was set up, it was like there was a set of lockers at the end and there was like the staircase and then the the railing attached to the wall. So when I ran that wall, I kind of had to go up and over. Well, when I came down, and instead of landing like I normally would do, I kind of landed weird. And needless to say, my ankle kind of pushed into my foot. <laughs> oh, my God. And, yeah, thankfully, thankfully it didn't break. It just, like, it pushed the bone down. Yeah, and, so, like, uh, the tendons and stuff. Yeah, you know, like, what happened was, like, I guess the, uh, where the ankle bone is, like, that bone kind of popped out of socket. And I didn't realize it until, like, I heard a loud pop, and I'm like, as soon as I heard that pop, like, I knew something was up. I was like, fuck. And I couldn't move for shit. Like, I couldn't get up and walk or anything. Thankfully, my friend that was filming, he cut the camera off, and he he knew how to uh, reset bones because his mom actually was a doctor at the time. And that's mm -hmm. what she did. She reset bones. And it was the same... <laughs> <laughs> oh, pulling that phone out her. Oh man, oh pulling my phone back. Like as soon as he pulled it back in the place, I heard a loud pop, and I'm sitting there biting my fucking hoodie like motherfucker. Oh. You're braver but, than I am. I would have been like, drug me, drug me first. <laughs> <laughs> believe me, at that, believe me at that time, I wish I was drugged up. But we were at school. The principal was on the other side of the office, and the nurse hadn't gotten in, hadn't gotten to school yet. So we were just like. Fuck it, it's not bleeding, it's obviously not broken or sprained. Just pop it back into place already. So I'm here fucking biting on my hoodie, fucking like, oh and like, all you did. It sucked, but it was because of that injury that unfortunately I wasn't able to do that again, which sucked. Yeah. But like, it's also because. Yourself. Yeah, and it's ultimately because of that injury that mm -hmm. I was that was not able to continue on uh, doing what I was doing with dance. Like I was able to do it for a while, but it has its moments where like there are times when I can do it and times when I can't. But like here recently, it's just like I'm getting up there in age. My fucking I'm, I'm getting up there next, what can I say, you know, like, <laughs> when you get, uh, when you get old, well, well, I can't say I'm really old, but, no. you know, when you, you, know, when you get After 25, it's all downhill. <laughs> oh, my, oh, absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> like, but it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, my legs aren't able to do that as much, mm -hmm. because of the constant moving and stuff like that so like, I wasn't I'm not able to you know do that as much as I would like and that's something that they're not understanding it's like dude I had to retire for a fucking reason dude mm -hmm. I had to quit because I'm not gonna push my body until it breaks for y'all's entertainment to sit there and laugh at fuck that I would rather preserve my body I would rather preserve me being able to stand thank you anyways yeah. And like, hey. and they just don't understand that, like, they don't, they, this CG dude, he's one of those, the best way I can put it is he's one of those arrogant assholes that thinks that he's untouchable. <laughs> Everyone thinks they're untouchable when they're young. <laughs> and their life comes oh, and kicks them in the ass. And I can tell you right now, and I can tell you right now, this dude literally is just, he's a punk ass kid. Yeah. Like, he's literally a punk-ass kid. It's like, dude, do you not... Re and I've, I've tried telling him several times, like, dude, do you not realize that when you do this shit to the wrong motherfucker, they're going to beat your ass? Mm -hmm. Like, trust me, and I've been there. I've been there. I had to learn that lesson the hard way myself as a kid. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I when I was a teenager, I was that kid. I thought I was untouchable as fuck until the wrong... And so I fucked with the wrong dude at school who kept pushing me around, and needless to say, he kicked my ass. No. Oh. Granted, we, granted, we became friends after that, but 
Still, <laughs> lesson learned. That's there's the always someone. Be. There's always someone out there bigger and badder than you, mm -hmm. and he doesn't seem to get that. It's like, dude, just because you have this on your little army of a couple thousand people and this and that and the other, doesn't give you the right to go around spreading rumors and doing shit to try to fuck me over. Like, no. No. It's awful. Like, I can't, I can't actually, I can't, like, in the short amount of time that I've been looking at, it's very hard to grasp, like, it's an entire history. It's like, it should be like some sort of, like, long series or like a book or something it's like uh, the dude, rings, there, you know? there are so many <laughs> there are so many documentaries on me that i can honestly say wow. i've lost more i've honestly lost count you should do the official one <laughs> the official the official chance will come oh, yeah, and then, that's the thing like like um, the only one like out of all the people from the troll community the only one that I can really say that I have any kind of respect for is that one dude, Bay Shaman. Because Bay Shaman doesn't go out of his way to, you know, attack people. He just commentates and reacts on, you know, what's there. He doesn't go out of his way to be like, oh, this guy's an asshole, blah, 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 you know, go after him. Like, he doesn't do that. Yeah. He, he sees the videos, he reacts to it, and states his opinion. All right, well, cool. That's supposed to be how the news is. It's supposed to be independent with no no opinion either way. Unfortunately, YouTube isn't governed by any sort of... like. It, I mean, it is governed, otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. However, right. um, it, it's, it's very much like personal opinion gets put over like basis of fact. It's not like the news. Um, exactly. It's like... And you know, and what's crazy is the fact that you got people like uh, Mastro Mafia, who illegally entrapped me, who sadly get to get away with doing the shit they do. And it's like, like I never understood like how the hell someone can get away with doing that. It's like, yeah. it's like don't get me wrong, I get that I fucked up. It shouldn't have happened. I get it. But why hold one single mistake mm -hmm. over someone's head for the rest of their life? It doesn't make it, it never made sense to me. No. It's like it's like God, okay, if I, I was done one. for my mistakes in the past, there would be hell on. Like I would never live it down. <laughs> right. It's like you know, like I get it. I made a mistake. I fucked up, and on several times, you can hear me on panel literally apologizing and trying to move on but it's like it's almost like they don't want to let me move on it's like they want to keep me in this little tiny bubble and it's like dude no and what's so fucked up and i've seen this firsthand sadly anybody that tries to stand up for me or say something and try to defend me that person then gets targeted just like i do mm-hmm if not worse in some cases. And yeah. it's like, that's beyond fucked up. I think, and that's where, I think that's where the difference is going to be between um, sort of everyone else and me. Because I'm in the UK for starters, that helps because there's no sort of rules that govern they can't call the police on me they can't um they, they can't i mean you know if the cop yeah. get a phone call from from you know somewhere in like you somewhere in right. and that's nowhere the, like america right. they're not going to take it seriously and right. because we're a and, company right um, and what's and what's so fucked up is that like it's, and no, I, it, it's the whole thing is just like so fucked up because like what like the thing that really got me like pissed off the most, which obviously there's nothing that can be done about it now, but back before stuff got really bad, and I was like trying to work my way out of the troll community mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, that dude that I'm sure you've seen stuff on by now, um, Nightlight. Um, I actually was good friends with the guy at the time before this stuff got bad. And when I had had my original Twitch account, 
he was the reason why I got as many followers as I had gotten. He had taken my follower count from like a mere 15 to like 800 and something. I know mean, he had taken it to like 500 and something and I had built the rest of myself and was doing really good. And once I hit, I think it was like 860 something, about 20 people were paid subscribers. So for me, that was like a hundred bucks a month. So that was not bad starting out. Yeah. But what, but what Marty and all of them decided to do, they decided to report me for stuff that I wasn't doing. They went in and they mass reported my account, mm -hmm. which got me shut down. And now it's like every time I try to start over, they want to sit there and make it to where I don't get to make any money. Yeah. Like, I even asked uh, that one dude, William Glory Hole, I asked him straight up, like, why is it that you don't want to see me make a living? Mm -hmm. Like, why is it that you don't want me doing this? Like, be fucking honest, dude. Like, I'm not here trying to act like an asshole. I'm here asking you straight up, why do you do this? And I swear to God, in the most unnerving voice, like, it was... Like, it wasn't necessarily, like, scary, but it was, like, you could tell something was seriously off about him. Like, like in the most calm, sinister, just unnerving voice, he was, like, because it's fun. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm, like, and what's so crazy is it was me and a couple of my friends that were in a Discord call when he had said that, when I had asked him. And it was just like, all three of us were just like, oh, what the fuck? Like, this dude's clearly off of his rocker. Yeah. No, that's like, not this, dude, this dude has literally openly admitted that he'll do whatever it takes to keep me from making money. Yeah. Because according to him, because according to him, I'm a supposed pedophile, and according to him and everybody else, they don't deserve to make a living. Like, are you hearing yourself right now, dude? Look at what Natural Mafia does. And I've asked him straight up, who's the real pedophile? The one that they entrapped, which I get it, I made a mistake, I never should have done that, I get it. Or is it the one that did the entrapping in the first place? The one that had the photos, the one that did this shit. Like, think about that, dude. Like... It's sort of like, like, why would the bite the hand that feeds them sort of thing? Because if you disappear or something happens to you, then they lose their income. So wh why exactly. would they... Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like, I'll be honest, none of this shit that they're doing makes any kind of sense at all. It really and honestly does not make any sense to me at all whatsoever like i have that one song out a uh, street racing scene that i recorded like at the very beginning that that was good yeah. i like that so fucked, what's so fucked up though is uh wayne gorial went behind my back made up a fake artist name by switching around a couple of letters in my name and now he gets the copyrights to that song Jeez. and that song i What's so fucked up is I can go on the YouTube right now, like just randomly, and I can, I can, yeah. Hang on one sec, I'll be right back. Hold on one sec. What's up? Oh shit, okay.
Hey, what's up? Hey! Hey, man. What's up? So, where were we? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, we were on, oh, we were on about William Glory Hall, William Glory Hall, and how, um, so... Oh, yeah, how he does what he does, yeah. I've got but lots yeah, of notes William. now. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, that's why he does what he does, because mm. he does not want me to make any kind of money. Yeah. I've made, uh, I can honestly say, in the last, I'd say year and a half, I've made about, I'd say like between five to ten different Twitch accounts, and they have literally found every single one of them and got them shut down. Like, literally within hours to minutes. Now, the one that they recently got shut down, that took them about a month to find that one. Wow. And it's like, why? Like, I've always asked them, like, why can't you guys just, you know, just screw off, dude? Like, mm -hmm. go do something else other than fuck with people, man. So what do you think you did differently when they didn't find it for a month? Um, was, was there anything you honestly, particularly... Honestly, it was... I didn't do anything really differently at all. I just don't know if... I don't know if it was because they just weren't paying attention. Yeah. Or if something else had... Or if something else had them distracted. I, mm. I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, I honestly don't know. And it's like... It's one of those things where it's like, it's just really, like, the, like I can't even, don't even know how to explain the situation, because it's so, the situation's just so bizarre. Yeah, I mean, I, I've heard, I mean, I'll be honest, I'll explain you a little bit what I do. So, basically, um, quite often, you do get people, especially want people who are vulnerable or who maybe don't have the support of a big group. So say like a, a so say like you're an artist but you're you're on your own. You're not a group artist. You're a per, you're one person. Yeah. And quite often you do get people who sort of snipe like they will like I had for example one client I had he got a video there was a video put up of him by a local pedophile hunter group in inverted commas and um yeah. and they were like oh he's been talking to this girl in inverted commas online and everything kind of like what happened with you but what yeah. but the thing is there was um i got the video taken down because this kid the, this kid didn't even realize the age of the person that he was speaking to and there was no sexual content shared so they've essentially sniped him for views and abused him and then it's gone to court and the court have been like well that's terrible but the thing is it's it's all about like licensing agreements and, and you know and, and, right. and presence and essentially that's what an asshole and them do is yeah. what they do and i figured this out like literally I think it was like two or three months ago when I like really started to dig my heels in and trying to figure things out mm -hmm. after I had gotten arrested and got out and shit. Yeah. And I was like really trying to figure out like what their deal was. And I started doing a little bit of digging and found out that an asshole is actually a recovering druggie and is, and I'm not trying to be an asshole when I say this, but it's the truth. I found out that she's an attention whore and will do whatever it takes to get views. Oh and my the God. thing that and she she uses the whole going after pedophiles thing as a cover up. Like that's literally her cover up to like be able to screw with people and it's like mm -hmm. I actually and I'm pretty sure you saw this because it was all over the place. But I asked her straight up, like, what was your reason for targeting me like you did? Like, what reason did you have? Like, yeah. to be fucking honest. And then she hit me with, oh, because you gave off pedophile vibes. <laughs> That's not an excuse, bitch. 
Oh, well, that's what happened to Chris Chan. The girl that reported him to the police was actually worse than him. It turned out she was an animal abuser. And she was... Yeah, I know. I sure did. I followed that whole... Funny thing yeah. is, I didn't hear... Funny thing is, I didn't hear about Chris Chan until, like, several months after the whole thing between me and Kate went down. Right. I had no... Like, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know his story. Like, I had heard, like, people comparing me to him and this and that. And then the one day I finally decided to sit down and dug into his story. Like, I dug in fully. Like, every fucking detail, every single bit of it. Like, I dug into this shit fully. And I went in open-minded. And a lot of times people will ask me, like, hey, what's your opinion on Christian? And I tell them honestly, do I agree with what he did? No, that shouldn't have happened. But at the same time, if they didn't do what he what they did to him, he wouldn't have been put in that position to begin with. Yeah, like he's no matter what anyone says, he's a vulnerable person, <laughs> and it's cruel, and and he really needed help, right. not not abuse. Right, like exactly, that. and that's they may that's him. Him. that's. And see, and that's why I feel bad for him, because, like, you take someone like him, who doesn't, like, and I'm not saying this to be mean, but, you know, someone like him who doesn't have the mental capacity mm -hmm. to, de to deal with these trolls, like, in the way that me or you are able to. Yeah. Like, when you, when you don't have that mental capacity, it makes it a million times worse. Mm-hmm. Like, it really does. And, like, and I've seen good people, like, really good people getting screwed over. Well, look at, now, um, oh, what's his name? Um, Pyro Cynical. Pyro Cynical. He was, like, really, like, he was lauded oh, as, yeah. like, this really popular YouTuber. And now, yeah. all of a sudden, they've come after him and, oh, you're a fairy. Oh, you talk to young to young people, and it's like, well, for starters, Turkey Tom had to apologise because the young person turned out was in an over 18s Discord server. So how was he supposed to know? But it's that sort of thing. Like nobody is safe from it. I know, and that's and honestly, that's what is wrong with a lot of social media nowadays. That's mm -hmm. what's wrong with a lot of it is these people are so quick. To go after somebody for the stupidest things. And I'm like, it makes no sense to me. Like, why would you waste your time attacking somebody that doesn't freaking deserve it? Like, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's beyond insane. Like... Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that with people or, you know, groups mm -hmm. that, like, you know, are, like, masshole and claim they're going after pedophiles, they make the real pedophile hunters look like shit. Mm -hmm. they yeah, really they do. do. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like, the one, that I, the one that I was on about, the group that, because we have one of the, where I live, we have one of the very first paedophile hunters and they work with the police, like actually work with them now because yeah. they're so good at it, but they follow very strict rules. They, they don't do it for attention. Like it has to go through the courts before they put the video up. So at least exactly. they know that the person's been convicted. When exactly. It's like judge and jury without any of the, without anything, you know, with, Exactly, and it's like, and that's what these people don't seem to get, like, especially the ones here, like, they don't seem to understand that Kate doesn't work with the cops, she doesn't work with the police, she is, uh, like, I have caught this chick, and several people have caught her, you know, like, doing this awful shit to people, and it's like, and you sit here, and you wonder like, and it's funny because she's gotten busted for this kind of shit before. Mm -hmm. That's why she had lost her uh, two of her kids initially to, um, yeah, she lost two of them to, um, to I have the no state. time for that. I have no time for people like that. Like, I have, 
I I have kids and everything, and I have no time for people like that. Like, I'm oh, saying like, like, and that just rules you out entirely. Yeah, like it's it's like if you got time to be doing that kind of shit, then you got time to be taking care of your fucking kid. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're not taking care of your kid, like. That's why, because she's got, I think, like, four kids. And two of them got taken by Children's Services because of the shit that she does. And it's like... It's like she doesn't even care. That's terrible. God. Well, that's the thing. Like, it's, uh, you know, don't throw stones in glass houses. Exactly. You know, if you're, if you're perfect yourself. You, you can't re if you, you can't really judge. Exactly. It's like you know, and I have said this multiple times. It's like, it's like don't dish something out that you can't freaking handle when someone throws it back at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I mean, has I anyone know. has anyone ever brought that up with her? And then try to, and she keeps on playing it off like, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, she'll just blatantly ignore it. Right. Because yeah. she's, uh, she's that kind of a sick fucking individual. That's and it's right. like... It's, it's honestly... It's me uncomfy. <laughs> oh, I know, and that's how she is. Like, if you watch her videos... Even for just like a few minutes, like you'll see just how sick she really is. It's like you can tell just by her voice, like she's clearly not okay. Mm -hmm. Like she's clearly not right in the head in almost every single way possible. Mm -hmm. Like clearly you need fucking help. Mm -hmm. My God! Right. So what? Do, so what does your family think of it? And um, if we move on, we move on to family. I, do, I believe you live with your with your mom and your stepdad. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So what? Uh, do they like how how are they coping with it? Needless to say, they are straight up. They're tired of it, honestly, and I don't yeah. blame them. I do not blame them because I'm just as tired of it as they are. Yeah, so I'm in the same freaking boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must like, be I am literally in that same boat, through. so it's like I get it. Yeah, it like, I definitely understand. Mm -hmm. I definitely get where they're coming from, and like it's it's really a messed up situation because, like I said, we've had stuff stolen from our house. We. have had all kinds of shit done to our yeah. house. Um, just recently, um, like I was saying last night, somebody had followed my stepdad to work, uh, oh broke God. into the car when he, they broke into the car when he wasn't looking and egged like the whole inside of the car to where it took us like a pretty good two to three hours that next day to like actually clean it out. Yeah. Which sucked. Like that was a, I'm not gonna lie. Cleaning up, cleaning up egg out of a, out of a car, off of shit, not fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's terrible. Are they, are, so, are, so, w what do they say about it? Are, have they, have they gone online? Have they, have they, have they, have they state, like made any statements or anything regarding everything? Oh, we've we've called the police. We called all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But like I said, the police here, they do not do anything except sit there and like all they do is basically is sit there and like laugh at us. And like they have labeled me and my mom and basically our whole family essentially as forty threes, which here. Uh, as far as like the local law goes, 40 days are basically like they're basically saying that we're mentally disturbed and that nothing's really going on and that I cause all this shit that's going on. And it's like, no, I don't. I don't think like, we have that over here. That sounds terrible. Like, it sucks. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, it sucks so bad. 
I'm glad we live over here. <laughs> Honestly, be glad that you do because over here it's like out of all the states that I've lived in, Ohio is literally the most backward, the most ass hat backward state that I've ever freaking lived in. Like it's like holy shit, dude. Like it's insane. And what's crazy is there was a point where the trolls, uh, mostly CDG and all his friends, they sent people over to our house to one day. To tear down our fencing. Mom was in the bathroom, heard it, told the person to put stuff down because that person didn't know, so she can't really blame them. But we did call the police and made a report on it. And, you know, we called our landlady to let her know, like, hey, somebody was just trying to tear the fence down. You know, just let her know. That way, you know, nothing mm -hmm. was, you know, nothing bad was said. Yeah. You know? And, like, I said, you know, mom called the cops, and believe it or not, the cops sat right there when confronting them. Like, the cops sat right there and told mom straight up that, or no, he looked at me. He had looked at me when mom was, like, making the, uh, telling what was going on. He sat right there and blamed me for like having the fence tore down and I'm like why would I do that dude that makes no sense like why would I conspire to have our fence tore down and he's all like oh I've, oh I've seen the videos I've seen the videos uh clearly you haven't seen all the videos dude like clearly you know not of what you speak and you know say that kind of you know, say that officer kind of got a little bit bitchy with me because he knew that I was being straight up with him. He knew that I wasn't wrong, but he just he didn't want to admit it. God, because the cops here, the cops here, they don't, they just genuinely don't care. Yeah. Like my family has gone to the police. He's gone to the FBI, and it's like nobody's doing a damn thing about it, and we're just like... See, we have hate speech laws over here, so so we we have laws over what you... Like, if someone makes, say, like, death threats online or something, oh, yeah. they'll search them down. Like, people oh, yeah, don't I'm get not... away with it over here. So that's why oh, I'm asking, because it's, like, it's, like, wild, because over here we have, like, there's, like, laws against these things, and there's things to protect people if they're vulnerable. Right. And that's good. Like, that's actually a good thing. And it's, like, mm. and it's crazy. Like, people sit there and say, like, oh, and, and I get this constantly. And people are always telling me, like, oh, you've made death threats. You're not perfect. Yeah, I may have made death threats. But every death threat I have made has been out of protecting my family because people have actually showed up here to try to do shit. There's a difference. I mean, was I in the right, you know, to do that? It's a gray area. It's a, it's a yeah, gray area because it, it's, it's classic. It's definitely like, gray. Like, and, you know, and given the situation... Like, if you take a look at the situation, like, yes, I've said some very gruesome things. I get it, but it's like, what do you expect when you fuck with somebody that's minding their own damn business? Like, what do you expect to come of that? Yeah. Like, you got somebody that's minding their own business. Well, it, eats, it eats away it. at your mental health. It, it eats away at your mental health over time. You become more... Um, identify, identifying clients become more paranoid um, that can suffer from PTSD uh, I mean there's a whole, oh, there's a whole iota of list of things have you seen oh, absolutely. A, have, you, have you seen a GP or, or a therapist about this just asking I talk to a few friends uh, that are actually licensed therapists like I talk to them like outside of their work and stuff right. and I like, they have flat out said that, like, what these people are doing, they don't understand, like, how I'm staying, like, so, like, calm and composed by it, about all this shit. And it's like, mm -hmm. believe me, you have no idea. Like, 
on the outside, I might look calm and collected. But on the inside, it's like, I'm over here like, dude, somebody make this fucking shit stop. Because it's getting out of control. Like, dude, I've had people try to kill me by shooting at me through my fucking bedroom window, for God's sakes. Oh my thankfully, God. The, thankfully, the bullet missed me and went into my mattress. But still, <laughs> it happened. Fuck. That's wild. Like, Did the find like, person? So, funny story. We called the cops that morning because we didn't realize what had happened. My right. friend Dustin was the reason why I found out I was shot at. I was doing a live stream speaking on my ex, Candle, about how she does what she does and how she has, you know, several warrants for her arrest in several different, you know, several different states. And whatnot. And I was explaining to everybody, like, this is what she does, this is what she's about, yada, yada, yada. Well, no sooner than I was, than I was calling Candle out on her shit, I was like, I heard a loud, like, bang sound. And at first, I'm looking around thinking, like, you know, maybe something fell or whatever. So I just kind of brushed it off. You know, went back to doing my strength. I find out next day that uh, my friend Dustin had messaged me. He was like, dude, like, you really need to go back and watch that footage from last night. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? He's like, dude, you're a live stream. You need to go back and watch it. And I was like, okay, why was wrong? He was like, dude, nothing fell. Someone fucking shot at you, dude. And I'm like, what do you mean somebody shot at you? He's just like, just watch the footage. And I was like, all right. So I did, and I watched the footage, and I saw what happened, and so I pulled my mattress out, or I pulled my bed away from the wall to see what in the hell happened, and I looked at the window thinking like, okay, that's odd, and then I looked at my mattress, and it's, the minute I saw that bullet hole, that's when it kind of hit me, like ah. that's when it, that's when it hit that, like, had I been laying there, I'd be dead. That's wild. Oh, my God. That's so lucky. And what's I... so screwed up, what's so screwed up is we called the cops that morning after I had showed them on the footage. We had called the cops. We had called our landlady to let her know what was up. Because our landlady didn't believe us at first. And then I showed her the video, and she was like, oh, my fucking God. And so we ended up calling the police that morning. They came out here, took a look at the mattress. That officer that did the investigating, like, took a look at the bullet, like, took a look at the bullet holes and stuff. Flat out sat right there in front of all three, me, my mom, and our landlady, and basically said they're not going to bother to dig the bullet out or go looking for the person because that person might already be long gone by now. Yeah, because cause the people that are gunning for you are from different states. I believe. Isn't it because isn't it because different states, like, they're essentially yeah. different countries, aren't they? So it's like it would be in like... A, in a sense, yeah. Yeah, so it would be like expediting someone from, for me, from, like, Germany or Iran or something. It's very oh, hard right. to do, so they can't be bothered, yeah. Right, no, I totally but it's like, it's still one of those things where it's like you can at least take the bullet and try to match it up to the weapon and go about yeah. it that way. I like that would that would definitely be one option, but they were just like, nope, we're not gonna do anything. And ever since then that bullet sat right there in the it's still sitting in there in the mattress to this day. And like every time I see that footage it's just like it's literally a reminder of like one, like, holy fuck, someone just tried to kill me. Yeah. And two, it's definitely more of, it's definitely a reminder of, like, you know, had I been laying there, I wouldn't be here right now. Like, had I been laying there, that bullet would have gone right into my head. Yeah. I'd be dead. Because right where the bullet is, is right where my head would have been because the mattress pushing down. 
because of the weight of your head when you know your head pushes the mattress down. Had I been laying there, I would be dead. And like, and that's literally just a stark reminder of that every day. Like, of you know, like just like the fact that that I could have died but did. And like, thankfully, I didn't. You know, thankfully, you know. Obviously, I'm still here. Clearly, I'm still here. Obviously, because if I wasn't, I wouldn't be talking to you right now, obviously. Yes. That's just but like, it's like... I must say, they like, like, God has a plan, so it's there. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And I've... And i kind of, like, realized that, you know, like... Like, you know, and I've kind of taken it as that reminder of... Like, you know, like, had I been laying there, I would have died. Like, I would have been dead had I been laying there at that point in time. And, like, and a lot of people, and I, I get, you know, a lot of people have made jokes, said this, said that, whatever. And it's like, dude, that's nothing to joke about. Like, that is literally nothing to joke about. But that's Sorry, the me, extreme. Me, 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 me too, sweat up me nose. I apologize. Sorry. Oh, you're good. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm like, it's fizzy and it went up me nose. Sorry about that. Oh, it's all Sorry. good. <laughs> it is all good. I, I've been Sorry, there. I've no. gone through that shit. That, like, br that just brings me on to the next question, though. So what are your what are your goals? Like, what, 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 do, you, what do you want to achieve? Like... Out of, Honestly, out of I, know, I know it sounds I know it sounds kind of cheesy at this point, but like for men, I know a lot of people are like, "But you're doing this, you're doing that." Like, and I get it. You know, I get that. Obviously, I'm somewhat of a household name. I get it. <laughs> but for me, literally, just a sense of normalcy and just being able to do stuff again without these people getting in the way. I did see like, one of your videos and it said you wanted to, like, inspire people with, like, your, the anti-bullying message and things yeah, like that. That was, what, that was what yeah, I was like, I know you, the normalcy, but what did you want to, what did you want to show out of this? What, what, are, your, what are your goals, like, towards... Other than being able to walk out your door and go to the shops when you like. No, exactly. Believe me, that is. Believe me, that is literally like the one thing that's like. It, it's insane. Like <laughs> the fact that we can't even freaking go to a courthouse for a court hearing without being followed. Like the fuck. Like that is literally some freaking stalker type shit. But, like, as far as, like, you know, everything else goes, just to be, a, like, the ultimate goal is, like, if this does, like, if this stuff doesn't, you know, I definitely want to be able to show people, like, hey, you know, if I can get through this, like, you know, if I can, you know, get through what I've dealt with okay. over the last God knows how many freaking years now, like, if I can be drugged through hell and back, you know, I want to be able to show people, like, that they can do it as well. And I want to be able, like I said in that voice message, you know, something I've always, you know, seriously thought about doing because I've been on the wrong side of YouTube. I've been on the wrong side of the tracks. I've seen, you know, the dark side of stuff, which... I can honestly say I would never wish any. I hope and pray to God no one really does have to see that side of it. Yeah. Because that side of it is so, it's, it's dark. Like, yeah. it's very fucking dark. It's very messed up. And no one deserves that. No. But if I could help anybody out, you know, by providing resources or, you know, doing like I do and, you know, giving them a break away from everything and showing them, like, yeah, I may be a household name, but I'm normal just like everybody else. You know, I'm a normal person. The only thing that, the only thing I tell people this all the time, I'm just like everybody else. I'm normal just like anybody else. 
I work the same amount of hours as everyone else. The only difference is, is that I do live stream music. That's it. I wake up 6, 7 a.m., grab a shower, whatever, grab some breakfast, grab some coffee, and start going to work and do my stuff. Just like anybody else. Yeah. But the only difference is what I do for work. That's it. Because you do, you do music. You do music, art. What, what else was there? I do, you know, like, don't y'all have jobs? Have kids to take care of? Have a dog to feed? Something? Anything? Yeah. Like, job, well, I mean, I, I think it just shows, like, the sort of the red pill part. Is it red or blue pill part of Reddit where they're, like, where they're sitting there I mean, and they're sitting in the basement? Yeah, I, mean, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the whole uh, Matrix thing with Morbius. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember, honestly. I really don't know because it's been so long since I've seen that movie, but I do know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And it definitely is that situation. And I can honestly say that I am in that situation almost every day because it's like, on one hand, I take one pill, I deal with the trolls, I do this, I do that, blah, blah, blah. And on the other hand, I try to get away from it and do my thing and, you know, try to get my life back to... At least some sort of sense of normalcy. Just being but able to go to the like, shops. <laughs> or like, you know, I'll, I'll go outside your house and sit in the garden. That would, that would be nice. <laughs> right, like, I'll be honest. The last time I've actually been able to go outside and actually go for a walk mm-hmm. and do photography like I used to back in the day, mm-hmm. that was like, the last time I actually did that was like two and a half years ago. Yeah. Like, these right. people have literally turned my home from a home to a jail cell for me and my family, essentially. Like, they've essentially turned our house into basically a prison. And it's like, why? Like, yeah. what's the fucking point? Like, I feel like... And so, what started all this to begin with... I was just about like, to ask you. I was gonna say. Yeah, so I really, yeah. want like a like a general like a general yeah, like overview. Basically, basically, what happened was, um, CVG saw the video that was floating right at the time of me dancing because I I came up dancing throughout high school. Yeah. Uh, one of my best one of my best friends, Cat, who actually ironically shut Marty down in less than five minutes, which was honestly funny as fuck to watch. <laughs> Oh, Not gonna lie, nice. that was, oh, it was fucking great. I but-